Ah, another day, another Call of Duty game. You good, boy? <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name's Jonathan, and welcome to some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So for today's video, we're basically going to be sitting back and just relax and play some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Because the last video I did on BO3, that did so well on YouTube, and I really appreciate every single one of you that have watched it, liked it, even subscribed as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I wanted to make a video on BO3 today because I actually wanted to tell people that you can still find matches on the Xbox One. Because a lot of people commented on my last video I did, talking about, I cannot find any matches. How did you find matches? Well, basically, I didn't really do anything at all. Like, I really did nothing. Because for me, it might might be a little bit different on PlayStation because, well, PlayStation might have a different player base compared to what Xbox has. But the currently right now, the time I'm playing this is at 11.35 a.m. my time in Australia. And so all I have to do is just go into Team Deathmatch and we can sit for a little bit and you will find a match. So right now you can see there's zero matches in the bottom left. All you have to do is just sit here and just wait for a little bit. You might pop into like a pre-lobby. Then all you have to do is leave that and go back into it and just wait again because there are matches that you can play. See? Just like that. We found a match. Wow! That is relatable! Just by taking our time. So you can still find lobbies. So surprisingly, you can still find lobbies in 2023 on this game. The only issue is with this game, it's a bloody sweat fest even after eight years. Coming back to this game still feels good to play, but I'm not used to it because, because like when you think about it, you get used to all the new Call of Duty games, and when you come back to this, you're like, uh-oh. I'm not really fussed about it at all. Like, this game's old anyway, so who cares if you play bad or not? Even though there are people out there that still play it like it's like the World Championship still, which is sort of like, why would you even bother? It is, it is quite, quite funny, funny though how you actually, actually get, get people that are full on sweating this game, game still. still. Evac or Stronghold? Nah, classified. I also wanted to say, if you guys want to see more content of mine or playing all different Call of Duty games, hey, all you have to do is subscribe. It's free. And if for you guys subscribing to my channel, it makes me more motivated to keep going with the videos and also support my channel as well, of course. It's still hard for me to know what is a good gun in this game. I forgot because I haven't played this game in more, quite a while, but I did play it like, I don't know, like, like a month ago. Oh, for God's sake sake, it's Exodus. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm still gonna say this. In the year 2023, Dark Matter is the best mastery camo we have ever gotten in Call of Duty's history. And I'll stand by that until the day I die. Like, Dark Matter camo was so good back in the day, man. It was insane of how good this was. I remember it took me almost eight months to unlock this camo, man. It was insane. <laughs> But what about you guys? Did you guys play Black Ops 3 back in the prime, back in the early days? I mean, early days? What on earth? 2015 to 2018, or did you guys miss out? If so, let me know in the comments as well. I keep forgetting that this game has the most basic settings before what, well, before we had the most complicated settings. Like, coming back to these old CODs might be a little bit hard for me, why I said earlier. Like, just give me a game or two and I'll be okay. Might not be as good as what I was like, well, back in the early days when I was younger. But you gotta give me credit. <laughs> But then you couldn't explode any f***ing nah, I hit the mic again. God damn it. Bloody yoted guy. I bet he's been playing this for like a beginning of the year now. I mean, it's already hard to find matches. So it's like, whoa. <laughs> hey, you came behind there. What a shocker. Let's go! I got 27 kills, except that guy has got 53 kills. Jesus Christ, mate. Go to Modern Warfare 2. Betting time down. <laughs> Oh look, he's promoting my channel. Oh, you shouldn't have, thank you. I still have to give Treyarch credit. The amount of weapons they add into this game were insane. Except the only weapon I didn't unlock was the MSMC because I remember going to the black market and buying the, what was it called again? The triple plate. I remember when I spent $30 to unlock that because all I needed was to get that last DLC weapon. Instead, they gave me a bloody rank or whatever it was and I've already unlocked it. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, when that happened, I was losing my mind. Boy, this, I'm gonna go back in the early days when I was younger, but I was like, oh my god. So, after all the money I spent when I was younger, and you don't see me spend any money now, I'm Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, let's use the BRM. Big raggy machine. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play terribly. I don't know what it is, but do you die two times faster on this game? Like, I'm shooting more bullets and I die faster. What well, it feels like. I think I'm so used to, like, the aim assist from, like, Modern Warfare 2. And when I come back to this, it's like, oh, yeah, about that. 
Oh. Do you hate that when you think you killed the person and all of a sudden you walk away but they're not dead? Yeah, I hate when that happens. I keep forgetting that this game does not really have a lot of bad players anymore. Like all the people that pub stomp is still play this game. I don't know why. So when I want to go and play like a normal game, yeah, that's impossible to do. So I've got to fall and sweat my balls off, but I can't really do that if I haven't played the game in like, I don't know, years. Like some people might say this game still holds up. Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. But at the same time, it's a little bit blurry. Like now you go to like an old game and you go, what the hell am I looking? Now. I forgot about this game had the Fafar, the new weapon in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> and looks like we found another match. Wow. And everyone just left. Okay, I'm on battery right now with my personalization. Hang on, let's make my old style character. There we go. I'm still shocked that you can still find matches on this game in 2023. Like, that's insane, man. Oh, just like that, we just found another match. See how easy it is? Hold up, this guy's only level 1. But this guy's like, hmm, what Call of Duty should I buy and play with my friends? Oh, yeah, it's gone BO3. <laughs> Compared to like Modern Warfare 2 and all of that, yeah, I don't blame you at all. Okay, we've got the PPSH in the year. I don't know when this game was set in, but hey, if it's set in the future, nothing makes sense anymore, okay? If Call of Duty doesn't take it seriously, then the game is more fun. But when you get companies that try to take the game seriously, it's not fun. Yeah, I know, it makes sense. Yeah! <laughs> All the good memories I've had in this game. Like, it was insane for what this game was back in the day, man. Like, I really miss it so much. And I wish I can go back and still play the good old days. Even all the old Xbox friends I used to play with. I used to hop on after school and, man, it was such a good time. I really miss those days. So I was looking at this old, like, team thing that you can make on this game. And I found all their old gamer tags and, mate, they haven't been on Xbox since, like, a month now. And it's so unfortunate because they were such good people, man. And there's me still playing Call of Duty later. Oh, with all the things I could be playing right now. Oh my god. Ah! I was 25 off. I'm going 11 and 2. I am not commenting on that. Oh no. Oh, the Brexit. Oh, you're disgusting. If you haven't used this gun back in the day, oh my god, you know how cursed this gun was back then. You had people legit say, oh, I'm too good for you when they were using this. Like, I remember, like, that one person with that class set up with the stack classes using the Brexy, and, mate, that was just a curse. There were a lot of bad things about this game, but at the same time, there were a lot of good things as well. I mean, it's like that with every COD, is it? G.I. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Get out of the way, teammate! Oh, no, he's in there. Don't even bother going in there. Where the hell did they... Oh, my God, this game's giving me a headache. My God! My God, what the... Yeah, I forgot. This game has motion blur and the FOV slider is very closed in. No wonder why I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I don't know, what on earth was that? I can agree with that. Only way that you can win in this game is by not playing, because if I can come back and I can still play as good, well, not as good as when I was younger, <laughs> I'll give it the thumbs up. I would never thought that BO3 eight years later would be the sweatiest game of my life. Okay, we're back on Nuketown again, and we're using the D13 Sector. If you don't know what this gun is, mate, this was like a, such a, like, a crazy gun back in the day. Fuck, I missed! Oh no, don't use that. We're actually... So you get these kind of people that think they're good, but they're actually just bad at the game. <laughs> it happens every year. They have to always be in some sort of shotgun like that, and it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's all just shotguns. Every single person. My god. Like, I'm the type of person that hates using all the broken stuff, but at the same time, it's like, what choice do I have? When people do these kind of things in the game, it makes me hate the game sometimes. Oh my god, I'm losing my thumb right now. My thumbs are sore. Jesus, man. Oh no! <laughs> At least we won, thank god. What the heck was that? Well, after that last lobby, I'm gonna use the Meadow War with a high caliber because this attachment is so bloody broken on this game. It's insane. Of course, it's on Aquarium, but one more game, okay? Just one more. Oh, great. Look at my team. Oh, that's freaking... <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. Yeah, high caliber just makes everything better. That is just broken. Thank God it's not back in COD, man. Teammate? Oh, for God. I keep 
forgetting that this game has reload cancelling and all of that. That's how much you get used to like the new CODs, man. Oh, fuck! That was a fail and a half, wasn't it? Let's go! 32 kills, thank god. That's what happens when you use high caliber on the man o war. Well, there goes an hour of my life. God, those were the sweatiest lobbies of my life. It's insane. Even when the skill-based matchmaking doesn't really exist on these old CODs, but at the same time, it's like, oh my god. Okay, I've got enough tokens for one rare supply drop, so hey, I can't say why not. <laughs> Yeah, thank god supply drops don't exist in Call of Duty anymore. Well, everyone, that's going to be the video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And also, if you guys haven't subscribed already, please do so because we're on the road to 450 subscribers at the moment. If you guys want to check out my other videos, they're all on my channel as well. And if you guys want to check out my social medias, they're all in the description down below. So if you guys want to check them out, hey, I can't say why not. If you guys want to stick around for more content of mine, please do so because we've got a lot of more content on the way. Well, many for the new COD and all Call of Duty games, yada yada. Besides that, everyone, my name name's Jonathan. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. And like what I say on all my videos, be mentally positive because it's always the positive side of life. Besides that, everyone, I'll see you guys in my next video.